New Hampshire will apparently be the last state to have legalized sports gambling in time for the National Football League and college football seasons. Maine continues to be in a state of limbo as the governor, Janet Mills, has not signed the Maine sports gambling bill. All the states that approve sports gambling are up and going with operations or will be in time for the 2019 college and pro football seasons. The District of Columbia apparently will not be able to get its sports gambling operation up in time for the first kickoff, which is the Pro Football Hall of Fame game on August 1st in Canton, Ohio, which will feature a good many players whose football careers will be done by Labor Day. Colorado voters will decide if sports gambling is a good bet for them on November 5th. It's been 14 months since the United States Supreme Court came down with a decision that legalized sports gambling. Nevada got legalized sports books in 1949. New York, New Jersey, Delaware, West Virginia, Rhode Island, Mississippi, Pennsylvania, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Montana, Oregon, New Mexico, Arkansas, New Hampshire, and Tennessee now have various forms of sports books. Five states are moving ahead with legislation working through the system with California, Massachusetts, Michigan, North Carolina, and Ohio lawmakers debating the pros and cons of sports betting. Major League Baseball and the National Basketball Association were looking for an integrity fee from Delaware and New Jersey once those states got sports betting up and going. MLB and the NBA wanted the states to implement the same rules that apply in France and Australia where a piece of the pie would be kicked back to the leagues so that the leagues could monitor sports betting to make sure it was all above board. So far, the leagues have struck out in that effort. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.